Generic greetings and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode we almost went bankrupt because of the fuel line. This is said line and as you can see it is simply a train track going from this oil refinery all the way down to store market and it carries unsurprisingly fuel as you can see there is uh, two fuel waiting on the line there now that actually should be able to transport a lot more in fact it can transport a lot more it can transport up to 15 i believe uh, yes 15. However, slight issue. Firstly, uh, the game had decided that two of these tanks should be dedicated to oil, not cru not uh, fuel or crude oil, which is just silly. And secondly, there's not enough demand. Now, the way it works, essentially, if I click on this, you can see that there's like a it highlights a lot of these things here. That's what that thing will overall supply. That will that's that, that's essentially what it's going to supply, right? But slight issue here. Most of the stuff that requires fuel is down the bottom. So if I click on that, there's only th uh, one building, I believe. One building which will actually require it. Now, one, two, these two buildings here. There you go. These two buildings here. The rest, well, they don't demand fuel because they are residential buildings. All the ones that demand fuel are down the bottom. And sadly, I can't find a way to uh, carry it down. The only way to do it is essentially is to cr increase its radius. And the way to do that is to click on your uh, railway siding. Hang on. I can actually click on the bloody thing. There we go, upgrade, and then we will either add another track, which, as you can see, will increase the radius of that, uh, or you can just add another street connection. Now, I don't think we're going to need... We're probably not going to need another line just yet, but because we're going to put one in eventually, we might as well do that. It's going to cost us 120k. As you can see, we've got 1.3 million. What I've done, I'm just going to apply that, by the way, and that'll, that'll obviously cost a little, bit of money, a little bit of money, but... The advantage of that is that we will get more uh, oil, uh, sorry, more fuel put onto this halt, and then hopefully that'll be a okay. Um, actually, now that I think of it, we probably don't need to expand that because that is a, it's not a, it's a siding, it's not a residential track. So uh, whatever, we can always output stuff later on, or maybe bring in the wood through it or something. We'll see. We it doesn't really much matter either way. Got a bit of money, as you can see, which is all good. Uh, I skipped ahead a couple of years, a couple of in-game years, just to uh, get this going, just so we can get some cash. What we're doing in this episode is putting some more bus routes in and then doing some water stuff down here as well. As you can see in Middlesbrough, we've got a lot of passengers. We've got passengers going on the Embro and Spennymoor Express waiting 52 and similar for the Embro to Thatcham, which is 11 as well. And all of these trains are making me a lot of money. As you can see, look at the finances there. Mmm, that's all in the green. Lovely, lovely, lovely. In fact, have we got how many passengers? 32 or 32. Pretty much maxed out. Well, it is maxed out. It's not pretty much. It definitely is. Excellent. I've um, obviously added some more... Added some more carriages on them as well, which is all good. Right, let us get a couple of bus routes put in. We want to put a bus route around here as well as around here. Now, the reason you do the bus routes is essentially... If you don't have any bus routes, what will happen, well, what eventually, what, what tends to happen is that um, nobody, nobody starts, nobody uses any of your transport systems. So if you come in with a massive train, people will be like, eh, don't, don't really care, you know. But if you actually get them on bus routes and they start moving around the city, then it just seems to be a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll go over to road, then we'll go over to passengers and obviously bus stop. Now this is, um, after all, a right hand rule. So, uh, Essentially, we're going to drive always on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right, on the right. Mm, we could go along there and round. Do you want to do that? One there, one there, up along and then turn around. One there, one in here, and then finally one there. Now, that should be it. And if we go to our new line here, so we'll go for new line and we'll start there. And then it'll come around to there and then around to here. And as I said, it's a right hand rule, so always stick your, like pretty, pretty much your right hand out, or stick to the right hand side of the road, and imagine how it would come round, and then it should, yeah, it should do exactly that, and generate it exactly like it needs to be. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Right. So this is obviously going to be a slightly different colour. We're going to have it as that one. It's, yeah, that's the standard uh, bus routes that we're going for, I believe. And this is, uh, where are we at? This is a place where I can't remember and you can't see the name of the town when you're here. Fantastic. So, um, it's, um, Hal's, where is it? I can't see it. Uh, there it is. Nope. Zoomed out. 
Right, okay. So it is. Bus service. And it still does not need that. There we go. So that's, re that's been named now. Excellent. There's been a couple of people um, a bit pissed off that uh, every time I type, it doesn't delete the bit at the start. If you think it's annoying you, imagine what it's like for me. Trust me. It is annoying. Right, so we're going to go for a couple of these weird um, steam, like steam cars, essentially, which is, you know, pretty cool, actually. Uh, we're going to get one and then two. Obviously, set line, and we'll set to the bus service, and there we go, and it'll crack on. What I'll do is I will actually go back to our line manager, and while we're here, we will go to replacement, yes. Actually, no, we need to, we need to select the vehicle. As far as I can tell, and I did ask this, uh, I said, oh, what, is there a replacement? Is there a way to automatically upgrade the stuff? And um, nobody came back with anything, so I just don't know if that's possible, which is really annoying if that's the case, but uh, alas. Anyway, so... There's a nice bus route going in there. We'll do the same round here now. Oh my good grief, that's a nice... That's actually a nice sort of... Central bit of the town, isn't it? I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go over to buses. And we'll do this. Just because they're all... Just because they're, they're generally quite profitable, these things. After a while, anyway, it does take quite a while. I'm going to line manager and I don't really need a line. In fact, it's not even that I don't maybe need a line. I definitely don't need a line. I'm going to delete that one. Uh, we actually need to put in our bus routes first. There we go. So from the right-hand side, again, right-hand rule, right one there, and then it'll go into probably there, and then come round maybe to there, and then go along to perhaps there. We're not going to go off from that area. Then there, and then there, and then come back up here, and then into that one, and then it's our job done. There we go. So a line over here. New line, and again, right-hand rule, so it'll be that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, hang on, that one, and then it should come around this area, like that, and then it'll stop there, and then finally there. There you go, excellent, job done, and we don't need to add any more stations, right, so this is... Uh, South Melton is that? Malton. Malt on or N? On. South Malton bus service. Service? Service. Okay. Similar thing. And then we'll go over to our road. And we'll get ourselves a road depot put in. I know um, several people were saying, make sure you don't delete buildings because it costs loads of money. Yes, yes, I'm very well aware of that, thank you. But it, you're right, you are right to point it out because if you... I mean, look, that's going to cost me 13k if I put it there. If I put it there, just one building, uh, yeah, it's 113k. So it's a lot of money to actually uh, waste if you, if you mess that up. So we'll buy two of these. I always buy two. I don't know why, it just seems to be the way to go. Set the line and then it's... Um, where is the bus service? Hang on, I can't find it. Oh, because we haven't changed the colour of it. There we go. We will naturally go ahead and uh, change the colour. That one, and that one, and then that one. We'll just go over to bus. Uh, railroad, you can see we've got three rails. we got the two transport ones for like people, and you can see they're making money. The fuel line is still not making money. It's... It's problematic. We might even go ahead and delete it. I don't know yet. Is it, In terms of roads, you can see we've got all of these bus services going. We've also got the food trail, which is working quite well. We probably do want to change these horse and carts eventually when we can get something. Um, although, to be fair, we'll have to see about that one. This is the store market bus service. It's actually, it's not bothered. We're going to go to replacement. We'll set vehicle, and we want to change it as that. And eventually, it will um, automatically change it. There we are. Uh, trams, nothing. Air, nothing. Water, nothing. There you go. So, speaking of water and such, there's two, two of those put in. Oh my good grief, look at the amount of people waiting. I mean, it's not actually a good thing that they're waiting, because it's like sort of not lost revenue, but it means that there's people wanting to go on it. But uh, at, least there's, <laughs> at least there's stuff waiting there for it. And this is also, look at that, look at the food. Look at the grain. There's loads of grain. It's because this is a quite a bit of a distance for a horse and cart. We really need to get better horse and carts. Right. 
And what I want to do is get a couple of... I want to get a couple of things up and running. Uh, essentially, I want to get some, some boats and stuff going around here. Now, the problem, essentially, is that we... We want to use boats, but what do we want to use them for? Like, I'm, I'm doing this in case I want to use a boat, I want to put a boat on here. Uh, but I don't know what we can do. I think the best thing is to have a boat coming from here. And as you can see, we've got the farm. And then bring it all the way along the water's edge and then into here. Because that means we should bypass all of this massive road network. And we should be okay. So let's get that one. So we'll go over to our... Is it like a cargo one? And it is a cargo harbour. Yes, it is. And uh, that that looks it looks quite small. This water, it's not. It's actually quite quite big. And what we'll do is we will um, probably rotate it round because you need to have it in the water naturally. And we'll have it probably. What we want to do? We need to connect. We'll probably need to connect it up to the. Um, to the road network anyway, so probably about there. There's one cargo harbour, and then we'll go over to roads, and then we'll have a single small road here. Is it a single road, or is this a dual road? I think that's actually medium country road. It is It is a medium country road. Yeah, there you go. One field will be removed. I don't want to remove any fields, if I can avoid it. Mm, yeah, it's going to remove a field. And look at that, 209 to delete one field. Can we not have a little country road? If we can have a little one... Going past. Yes, we should be able to have a road going past. That'd be fine, right? Actually, we'll delete that then. And we'll go along to there. Add that. And then along... Nah, it's still saying one field. To there. And then... Yes. There we go. <laughs> Curves round a bit. And then over to there. Um, There we are. Yes. Right, so that's now connected up. Job done. Go over to the cargo again. And shove in a cargo harbour. Just... In the water there. Uh, we've got a problem with the collision of it, but we should be able to. What I'm going to do is put it about uh, as far back as possible, you see, so uh, we can still get ships past it. And then again, road. Go for a double road this time. It's naturally just connect up. It's going to cost a little bit because you have to chisel through the ground, but that's okay. And there we are. Right, so. Job done. That is two cargo harbours. Now, if we go over to our shipyard, we'll put a shipyard in. We should not. We should really put it in a, an area like this where it's quite quite big, and we'll sort of rotate that around like so, and then we'll just put it like. I'll just put it right next to it. To be honest with you, mm, perhaps not. There we go. Right. So we can get a ship, and here's our ship. So we've got. The Riggy, whatever the hell that is, that's passengers. We've got uh, the the Zorosta, which is crude oil, oil and fuel. And then finally, we've got the Wilhelm 1, which is like a paddle steamer. And it is livestock, logs, iron, coal, so it's all that sort of thing. So we're going to buy one of those. Obviously, it's quite expensive, but um, it's a ship. Of course, it's expensive. We do want to have a line manager. We'll go over to water. And we will go to new line. And obviously, it's going to go there to there and then that should hopefully just do what we need oh good reef it's a little bit it's a little bit all over the place there isn't it look at that it's like spinny round roundy roundy up and down Ooh, it's all over the place doesn't really matter too much uh, obviously we're going to change that to um blue because it's in the water i think we already have blue because of the the uh, other stuff up there but blue uh, we'll go for a light blue a nice light blue waters there and then we will call that the well, it is food. It's the, um... Mm, it is a food. It's like an interim, isn't it? Hang on, we'll go over to... Road. Not visible. It is the... Spennymore Food Trail. But what is this place? That's the thing. It is. Hang on, close that. Close that for now. Don't need about a station. So we'll call it the food. Mm. Call it the food ship rather than the trail. It doesn't make much sense for that. Right, so just a case of this one. Set line. We can only set one line, and there we go. Now, whether or not this will work, I do not know. It should be supply. It should be getting a supply. 
here's our steamer coming out. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> look at just tooting along. Very, very nice. I actually realise the water's quite pretty as well, isn't it? And look at that steaming away there. Excellent. So, the question is, will this actually, is it, does it cover the right amount? It does seem to get all of that, look. But it only just gets to there. The question is, is it going to get there? Or do we have to have a little cart going back and forward? If that's the case, I'll be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, yeah, I think so, because look, that one does select that. You can see that. Whereas this one does not. It's just off. What a pain. What a pain. Upgrade. If I upgrade the terminals, it's going to obviously make it bigger and stuff, but it'll cost... It's going to cost me 225000 which is silly. But it now actually covers that. So we should be getting, eventually, this this should start piling up with um, with stuff. So we'll see what it's like. This is going to come along. Obviously, this ship is not carrying anything at all. It's just sort of tooting along quite nicely. Very nicely indeed. It'll get there and go, oh, there's not, nothing here. But uh, once it's there... It will uh, eventually just go, right, yeah, we're done, and then it will uh, come back. So hopefully this one will start to fill up. Production nothing yet, but you can see it does have stored. Hang on. Is that... Okay, it's not selecting that anymore. When I upgraded that, it did change it. Oh, remember I said about quirks in this game? There's one of them. So what we're probably going to have to do... Um... I just got an achievement for using my first ship. Thanks. Uh, uh, oh my good grief. Right, what's the best solution to this problem? Uninstall the game? No, no. What we'll probably do is go over to the road and we'll probably get a cargo bit. And we'll have to, we'll have to have, literally we'll have to have a bit of cargo going from here and up to there. That's just daft. But it's what we have to do. So, um, we will. Cargo. And we'll put cargo in. See, one field will be removed if we put it there. One there. And then one there. Then a line. There and there. It's the, uh... Which one is it? Um... This is the food transport. And we will have a depot in. Do us. Buy road vehicles. Two of. And why is it saying oil? I thought that said oil for a second there. Set the line as the food transport. And there we go. So hopefully that'll start working. The problem now is that this has to go around and in like that. So is this going to carry food from there or not. Nothing waiting. So look, that definitely has a supply there. It definitely has that selected. A new vehicle is available. What's that? A train. Excellent. Production's up. Right. This is good. So we're now producing more. And the stuff stored here. And that's going to go on the food transport over to that. Okay. This could be working. I would hope it's working. It's definitely getting transported. Are we going to get paid for it is the question. <laughs> In terms of money, we're doing... Uh, not too bad. It's when I place a lot of stuff like that. Nearly minus 
It's like minus 770,000. It's a lot of money. So that's just delete this, put some stuff there. And now, yes, there you go. We've now got the food ship on there. Excellent. See, that's good. That's 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 working. It just perhaps is not working maybe as much as I'd like. But we do have now, as you can see, all of the grain and stuff going on to... The, but essentially going from there to there and then onto that ship. If this was rotated round, because I think the distance it covers is based on where the entrance is and obviously the entrance being there. If this was rotated round, we'd be able to do that and we wouldn't have to mess around. I really want to delete that as well. I want to delete this now, this um, transfer, because I have to come around and in. And, but you know what? That's going to cost so much money, it's not getting done. Right, so, not bad. At least it's working, and eventually it will be transporting stuff over to here. Now, because of that, we then need to worry about the cargo that will have to come from... Ah, oh, the question, actually, does this cover that? Yes, it definitely covers that, because it's highlighting it. Okay, good. So, we will get a couple of stops in here. Uh, like so. Okay, and then it'll come in here for food. Uh... And where do I want to put it? Uh, we it really matters. It does matter where you put this, because essentially you want commercial. Because these all require food, whereas these require nothing. So you want it in the center, essentially, as much as you can. But that would mean deleting something. I'm not entirely against it. Uh, but I am when it's going to cost me <laughs> half a million quid. <laughs> I don't fancy spending half a million quid. So there's no way we can get the bus, this this thing in here. I guess we'll just put it, if we just put it on the outskirts, it might be okay. Hang on, let's just try it. We'll put it here and we'll see what it does. And then you can see what it covers. It covers a lot of these ones, though. That should be okay. We should be alright for that one. We can obviously upgrade this as well if we needed to that to do that. And then you can see... Oh, it doesn't actually change it anywhere. No, nah, no, we're not going to bother. Right, okay. So, there's two routes put in. We've now got a new vehicle available and a, a compartment car. Okay. We might go ahead and um, change some of our trains. What I'm going to do, though, let's get this set put in. Oh, new line. There and there. Um, actually, yeah, that that food trail, food transport. It's 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 the food pro, isn't it? We'll change that one. So this one is. Let's have a quick look. Hasselmeyer, not Hasselmeyer. Food. Can you have it the same name? Yes, you can. And this one is not the food transport, it is the food pro. There we go. So the food pro, we need to change colour, is yellow. And the food transport is blue. And there we go. And then we will simply shove in another depot. It uh, doesn't really matter where it goes but well, actually does matter what I'll do is I'll put one actually no we have a depot just here so it's not gonna matter so by road vehicles we want uh, two horse and carts a horse wagon do we want no horse and cart one two and set line it's the food transport and that should be it so let's have a quick look excellent we've got you can see 25 grain there the ship is loaded up with uh, 32 of 50 livestock but it's not carrying, it's not mixing, mixing and matching. It's just carrying livestock. So whether or not it decided, yeah, it, 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 you might be able to, can you only carry one? It can't be like that. You cannot only carry one. That would just be an oversight. Let's just put it like very, very, uh, <laughs> Diplomatically, it would be an oversight if you could only carry one thing. And you can't click on the little plus button to change it in terms of what it's carrying. 
Da, da, da. No, change the colour, no replacement, no. Ah, that's a shame. But, that should get to there, drop that livestock off and make it. Now, it'll probably come back and it'll carry a lot of the uh, the grain. We could put another ship in, it just depends on how profitable this thing is. If this becomes profitable, then we might end up doing that, but I don't know how profitable or not it's going to be. Speaking of profit, let's have a quick look at the fuel. That's uh, supplying two. This one has... What's it just dropped off? Uh, I'll need to check its finances, actually. We'll go over to line manager and then we'll go to railroad and we can see that yes the fuel line it's costing me nearly 100 grand don't fancy keep that running myself the thing is if this grows if the town grows then we'll be all right but um, i don't know i don't know um, what we need to do is go over to the lines manager here actually what i'm going to do is actually going to uh, repair some of my lawn because we can. In fact, I'll repair two of that lawn. There we are. Because it'll take a little bit of time for me to mess, mess around here. So what we need to do is check this. Go for replacement. We do want to set the vehicle. So if we get... If we do need to replace this train, we want a... What sort of thing have we got? We've got a couple of nice trains here. Got a boss sig. What are we currently running, actually? Is it the boss sig? It is a... It's a boss sig, yes. Which I always think, well, the tanks as soon as I... <laughs> Right, so that is... What sort of weight is it? What top, top speed is 50? So what's that one for, then? Built a German state railway norms. What is the difference, then? That is newer. Ah, it's got a lot more power. So it's not as fast, but actually, the lifespan's better. And sort of more importantly, it can pull a lot more. So even though it's faster... It probably won't be as fast when you come to adding loads of cars. So we'll say add. We want to add that vehicle. And we also want to add a couple more compartment cars, which is how many passengers? 11. 1, 2, 3. That's what it'll replace this thing with. Uh, we'll actually add another one. There we go. So that is the Embro and Spenny Express. And we'll do the same thing to this one. So set vehicle. We want to have that train. And then 1, 2, 3. Uh, sorry. I have to click on add and then one, two, three. There you go. So that's what it'll replace it with. We'll see automatically replacing um, when it's uh, up to its lifespan, which I think they're running close to that. So we'll probably end up spending a lot of money there. But hopefully, oh God, look at the people waiting. It's a lot of people waiting. So hopefully that'll be able to, uh, that'll be able to get that sorted. Let's have a just quick look back at the lines. We'll go to road and we can see in terms of balance, um, the couple of bus services, they're starting to, they've got a deficit running there, but most of them are running in profit. Obviously, some of them, the reason they're running in the negatives is because it's counting that we've essentially just bought them and they, they haven't uh, started to get passengers. Eventually, they will. We've got some of them not making much money at all. I mean, look, 1.2k. That's all the food transport's doing. But at least it's generating some uh, we just want to check on our water and yes the water is making us money and is it good money uh, we've got a lot of grain there again is that carrying livestock it is carrying livestock you know what you know what i think another 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 ship is in order don't you ah we just got another ship actually it's a new vehicle available the front enac okay i don't think that's it looks a bit posh um i don't think it's gonna be for yeah, it's for passengers, sadly. So we're going to have to use this one again, which is fine, though. Uh, set line, the food ship. There we go. We've got food ship going. Uh, we could also have brought we could have, we could have brought it over to here, but the reason I didn't do that is because essentially you bring it to there and then you've got nowhere to transport the rest of it. It's like, where do you... Where's the rest of that go? It doesn't go anywhere. So, uh, yeah, at least bringing it to here, it's, uh, it's okay. What we could do now, actually, is think about... Putting a cargo, uh, sorry, a, a dock here for people, and then putting the same in over here. But the problem is this bridge. Uh, what we'd have to do is essentially delete it because it would um, cause us a big issue if we if we kept it. It would cause us a big issue because, well, if we just go over to water, like navigatable waters. Oh look, slight issue. It can't go there, so we would have to delete that. There you go. And now we can actually navigate through that. Now there is an, there is a way to resolve this. Um, in terms of roads and such, we can go over to road and then we'll go over to um, like that. And you can actually increase 
the uh, the height of the road, you see. But the problem is you'd have to like eventually go for like some steel ones and stuff like that. So you'd have to do that, something like that, which is just silly at the moment, especially because it's like 6.6 million. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that, are we? I think we'll just cut it off and we'll not have a big problem. We'll just we'll just deal with it. I think we'll deal with it. Right. So over to Ramsgate, what we'll do? We'll shove a bus service in, get people going on this thing, and then we can uh, eventually get ourselves a lovely little bit of ferrying back and forward from Ramsgate to uh, Halsmere, whatever it's called. So, bus routes, people, busing. So again, right hand rule. Um, we don't need, I know people said I've actually been putting too many bus routes in and you're right actually, we don't need as many as I, as I put in. So we could probably just do that, that, that and then that to be honest with you. Like that would do, that would honestly do. Uh, so we're gonna go to road, new line, and then it's um, one, two, three, four, and then that covers the entire city. City, you get the idea. And then that's it. Okay. So this is Ramsgate bus service. Again, calling a bus. We know it's not a bus, but yeah. And we change that to its proper colour. Bright. But now we should be able to get a couple of these. Job done. Two of, naturally. And then it is that one. Ramsgate bus service. Sweet. Right. So, we've managed to get, so far, a couple of ships in. Good transport between, uh, well, one, two, three bus routes in. Oh, my good grief. Look at that. That's a lot of uh, food and stuff waiting. I, I want to check this. I want to check one thing. Is this profitable? Is this route profitable? Uh, we'll go to visible only. Yes, it is. This is profitable. Oh, great. So actually, believe it or not, having this route in and not having to and, and having to transport it has actually worked out better for me because we're making money transporting it from there to there and then putting on the ship. So yeah, that's good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. In terms of uh, food, we've got a lot of food waiting. We should probably add then a couple more over to here. So we'll go to um, buy road vehicles and two more horse and carts, and we'll uh, smash those on the smash those on the um, food trail, food transport rather. There we go. So that's going to transport back and forward. In terms of our Water, we can see that that is making 55 at the moment. That's only probably because I've just got one of these probably hasn't... Oh, no, that one is making money. There you go. Only just. We've got a problem, though. Uh, ah, right. Yeah. Yeah, see, you know when I deleted this bit here? They didn't like it. They didn't like it, apparently. Uh, I can sort of understand that because, to be fair... I did delete their road. Um, what I'm going to do then is delete a bit more of their road to really piss them off, and um, I'm actually going to I'm actually going to put it back in. Uh, I'm going to put it back in like so, but I do want to increase the height of that, and that's obviously going to cost some money. But they should be able to get under that. There we go. So now that should resolve the issue. Yes, there's no warnings. Good. They're not bothered about that now because I've essentially put the road back in. And it is still navigatable. Excellent. Right. Not too bad. I think we'll leave it there. I think it was uh, not a bad episode of building there. A couple of bus routes. What? Three bus routes. A, a, a network of um, ships going back and forward. And all of the supplementary stuff, the auxiliary stuff to support that. I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, I'm still pissed off about the tiny little bugs in places and the random quirkiness of it, but yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Right, leave it there. Uh, next episode, we'll probably delete this this railway that's constantly losing money. <laughs> it's just an absolute drip, isn't it? It's just a sink. Uh, but we do need to probably get some uh, more trains up here. Because we've got a lot of people there. We could even start thinking about putting another train line in, going up and around to here. Perhaps. Perhaps. What do you think? 
What do you think we should do? We could also bring a train down from Spennymore to uh, Stone Market. Let me know what you think, and we will go from there. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.